It's Roy Candy from Epic Gaming Night, and today we're going to be entering the Lands of Steel with the Decon Lords, looking at a hero unit for the Rune Wars miniatures game, Lord Hawthorne. Lord Hawthorne is a new hero that you can add to your Rune Wars miniatures army. He comes with two different models, one on a horse for cavalry on a hero scenic base, and one for you to add into your infantry units. His models are pretty straightforward to put together. They are push fit, and you can just put them together and play. Playing him as a solo hero will cost you 34 points to add into your army, and he has an ability that allows you to rearrange all of your other trays that you're using on the board. For example, you can take a row of cavalry that would normally be 2x2 two two and turn them into a 4x1, increasing their threat, allowing them to do more damage. Whenever you're rearranging units, they can't be more than 4 wide or 4 deep. Lord Hawthorne has a close combat ability where you can spend two surges to receive an inspiration token. He also can perform an additional attack against another enemy that he has not targeted by an attack during this current combat activation. He is brutal one and he can also use a skill to give each other ally within one to three range an inspiration token. His combat tool has some pretty quick movements but he also has a very quick attack at two initiative which means that he can attack but also be able to up his defense before your opponent gets to strike back. Or he can attack later in the round and add one damage. There are five upgrade cards that come with Lord Hawthorne. There are two artifacts. First, the Dawnblade, which allows you in a close combat attack to spin surges and turn them into damage. Then there is the Shield of Margath, which when you're defending against a close combat attack, the attacker will suffer damage equal to your defense. There are two unique upgrades for Lord Hawthorne. Sweeping Strikes allows him to, in close combat, treat his front edge as if it was touching all other enemies within range 1, which triggers very nicely with his special ability to do multiple attacks. And then there's also Might of the Dakthon, which gives him one extra defense. There's an upgrade to add him to an infantry unit and a cavalry unit, which will add one die in close combat and allow you to attack an additional unit that hasn't been attacked yet this turn. It also has three defense and two health. The expansion comes with a piece of terrain for a stronghold, which allows you to be elevated and fortified, and a temple ruins, which allows you to gain an inspiration token when entered. There's also a new deployment card and objective card, Seize the Artifacts, which says at the start of the game, you choose two of your units and two of your opponent's units to be carrying the artifact. and. If they get defeated in play, you'll discard the artifact from play, and you can take a skill action to steal an artifact from an opposing unit. At the end of the game, you will gain points for each objective token you own. Overall, Lord Hawthorne can get your troops into formation, give them inspiration, and lead them into battle. What can I say about Lord Hawthorne? One of the things that I really like about him is how you can rearrange the trays at the start of the combat. So it's really cool to be able to take all your horses and line them up and rearrange your different units so that way they can be able to do more threat and more damage to your opponents and you can make these charging rows and rows of horses do lots of damage where they would normally they'd have the precise and stuff like that but you can still upgrade them with different things if you still want them to be able to roll dice but they can hit really hard with his special ability and it's cool that he when you have him as a solo hero he gets to let you rearrange a bunch of your trays around so it's one of the most interesting things about lord hawthorne it's also really cool that he has like some really quick combats he can attack on a two and if you use the defense defense ability and use the might of the Daquan, he can get his defense all the way up to five, which makes him really hard to hit. And then if you use the um, shield of Margoth or whatever it's called, then he can end up hitting your opponent's back for like five damage after they close combat attack you. So you can set up cool little combos with him. 
And you can also add him into your infantry units or your cavalry units to hopefully add like a white dice and do different things like that as well. But definitely a very interesting leader unit and something you should look into for your Daquan if you're looking for something to mix up the organization of your trays and make it so you can have more threat or more precise and try to move that stuff around. It'll be really cool as you get like the crossbowmen come out and you can like line them up and then they can all fire and do a whole lot of damage. So it's definitely an interesting unit and one you should check out Lord Hawthorn for the Rune Wars miniatures game. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.